it's Mark. I'm going to show you the Aces Transformer Prime, my second video. I'm now running Ice Cream Sandwich on this, so I want to show you some of the features real quickly. Uh, the widgets and applications now are in the same routine, upper right hand corner. So when you click on that, you're going to get your apps and your widgets all together. You can either select them from the top here and go from apps to widgets, or you can scroll one into the other, which is really kind of nice. Uh, the next thing is dragging apps and widgets onto your desktop, uh, identical, comes from the same routine. Uh, so all you do is hold it down, drag it onto your desktop. Now, if you want to remove the application, there would be a little garbage can in the uh, upper right hand corner, a little trash can. That's gone now. What they've done is they've put a remove button at the top of the screen. It just says remove with a little X to the left of it that's where you drag to. So if you were to hold down and get rid of this, there's remove. We'll remove it. It goes red and it goes away. So that's really nice. The next thing that uh, they improved on is adding folders. This is wonderful. If you want to save on your screen real estate, you're going to want to use this option. So here I have a lot of my most common Google apps and I want to put them all in one folder. It's as easy as taking one of them, Google Docs, and dragging it on top of Google Earth and it creates a folder. And you know it's a folder because now it becomes a round icon. And I can continue to do that with as many of these applications as I want. Here's YouTube. So now I have four of them in there. When I click on it, there it is. I've got the four applications in one folder. And then I can just click on the title bar there and give it a name. Google. Apps. Done. And there it is, Google Apps, right there. That's a really nice routine. Of course, I can pull them out, too, if I want to. The next thing that they really improved on is how to get into your wallpapers. All you do is select any blank space on the screen. So let's select that. Just hold that down. And up comes Gallery Live Wallpapers and Wallpapers. Now, you can actually go into your gallery and get any of the photographs that you've taken. I'm going to go to my camera take some of the photos that I've taken with this tablet. You know, let's take the, um, yeah, let's take this as uh, the Kent State Library here. What's really nice is you can now crop this both landscape and portrait to work both ways. So I'm going to crop this library building from Kent State University and I'm going to say cropping up left upper right hand corner and it's going to go ahead and it's going to crop that wallpaper for both portrait and landscape and it's going to set that as my new desktop wallpaper. It'll take a minute or two. There it is. And of course if I put on auto rotate, I'm going to show you real quickly if I rotate the screen, there it is in portrait. And you can go through portraits like that. Go through the portrait mode, go back to landscape, And there it is. So that's just a few things brand new in ice cream, Android ice cream sandwich rather, on the new Asus Transformer Prime tablet. This tablet is awesome. You have to get this tablet. This is the one to get. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video on all the new features of the ice cream sandwich. And uh, see you up on the George Tune blog at georgetune.com slash blog. Thanks again.